Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we are going to do some problems involved in multiplying, dividing, and simplifying rational expressions. Okay, so the first set of problems we're asked to simplify the rational expression if possible. So recall from our lesson that when we simplified rational expressions, we had two steps. One is to factor uh, both the numerator and denominator and then reduce common factors to 1. So in this case, I'm going to factor x squared minus 9. I realize that's the difference of two squares. So I have x plus 3 times x minus 3. And then I factor the denominator. And I'm not going to go through the whole diamond and box process in factoring quadratics. That's a lesson that we've covered before. So I'm going to assume that you know how to do that. And I'm going to factor x squared plus 5x plus 6 to x plus 3 times x plus 2. And then I reduce the common factors in the numerator and denominator to 1. So x plus 3 over x plus 3 becomes 1. And I'm left with x minus 3 over x plus 2. And that's my result. In the second problem, I have x plus 2 over 4 times x minus 3. And I see that there are no common factors in the numerator and denominator. Now a common, so I would just, the final result is going to be this expression here, x plus 3 times over 4 times x minus 3. A common mistake for my students is to say, OK, let's factor the 2 and the 4. Now, when the value is being added to another value in the numerator, and it's not being multiplied, then the factor has to be common to all of the values in the numerator, or all the terms in the numerator. And since I don't have a common factor between 2x and 4 other than 1, I cannot factor out the 2. Now, if I had 2x plus 2 over 4 times x minus 3, because 2 is a common factor of both 2x and 2, well, I'm adding them, and 4, I can simplify the 2 to 1, and this 2 to 1, and this 4 to 2, take out the common factor. And I have x plus 1 over 2 times x minus 3. But in the example, uh, there is no common factor between the numerator and denominator, so I'm left with uh, the original example as my solution, or my simplified expression. All right, moving on. Multiplying ex an expression and simplify the result. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for common factors between the constant, the uh, x variable, and the y variable. I'm going to factor those out between the numerator and denominator, and then I'm going to multiply the two together. So I can see that 18 and 12 have a common factor in 6, a common factor of 6. So I rewrite that as 3x squared y to the third, and this would be 2x to the fourth. And I see that 14 and 7 have a common factor in 7, so I can rewrite this as 2, and the 7 becomes 1. Now I'm going to multiply x squared times x. So now I have 3x squared times x gives me x to the fourth. So let me just actually rewrite all this. I have 3x squared y to the third times 2xy over xy squared times 2x to the fourth. All right. So now I'm going to combine the uh, terms that in the uh, numerator and also the terms in the denominator. So as a result, I have 6x squared times x gives me x to the third y to the third times y gives me y to the fourth. And I'm going to put that all over 2 times x times x, which would be x squared. I'm sorry. I mistook the y for the x. x times x to the fourth, which gives me x to the fifth. And y squared. All right, now I'm able to uh, take the common factors and the constant, the x variable and the y variable, and simplify it even further. I see that 6 and 2 have a common factor of 2. So I can rewrite the numerator as 3 and denominator as 1. And 1 is just an unstated constant value, so I won't write that. x to the third over x to the fifth gives me x squared in the denominator. And then y to the fourth over y squared gives me y squared in the numerator. All right, moving on to problem number four. Again, first step is to uh, factor uh, the expression first in the numerator and denominator. So on the 
uh, left hand side that expression has a can be factored it's a difference of two squares so I have x plus 1 times x minus 1 all over x plus 1 and I'm going to multiply that by x plus 2 times x minus 1 over x minus 1 I have common factors in x plus 1 and x plus 1 and x minus 1 and x minus 1. So my result is x minus 1 times x plus 2. And I tell my students you can leave the result as stated here with the two factors or you can express it as a quadratic in standard form x squared plus x minus 2. All right, let's talk about dividing rational expressions. When we divide rational expressions, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of the second expression. And we talked about that in the prior lesson on dividing rational expressions. So I'm going to rewrite uh, the two expressions as 3x to the fourth y over 3xy squared times 21y to the fourth over 8xy squared. I see that I have a common factor between 32 and 8 of 8. So I reduce this to 4 over 1. And a common factor of 3 between 21 and 3. So I reduce this to 7 over 1. So I'm left with 28. Then I have x to the fourth times no x's on the numerator in the right hand side of the, uh, the expression. So I have x to the fourth and then y to the fifth. So y times y to the fourth gives me y to the fifth. All over x times x, which is x squared, over y to the fourth. I, can, I cannot simplify the 28 over 1 any further because the common factor of 1 and 28 is just 1. x to the fourth can be simplified to, uh, I take it out a common factor of x squared over x squared. So now I'm left with 28x squared. And I have y to the fifth over y to the fourth, which leaves me with just y. Okay, last problem. I have another uh, division problem. And again, first step is to factor out the quadratic. So I have x uh, plus 5 times x minus 4. And you factor both the numerator and denominator over x minus 4 times x plus 3 divided by or multiplied by the reciprocal which would be x minus 3 over x plus 5. I see that I have common factors in x plus 5 in the nom de uh, denominator and the numerator. Those cancel to 1 and again x minus 4 in the numerator, x minus 4 in denominator. So I'm left with x minus 3 over x plus 3 and I'm done.